Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today we will be building this um, Lego robot, um, this uh, Lego parallel gripping arm for our uh, Arduino servo controlled robot. Okay, now for the parts we will need six of these. These come with the Lego robot kit. Um, yeah, the NX2, I don't know if they're in the, the NX2, I don't know if they are included in the new one. Uh, we will need six of these, four of these that are like um, these squares at the top and round at the bottom. Six of these, those are the long blue ones with one and two. And these, those also came with the robots, that's just simple ones. Like fine, it doesn't have to be exactly like my vi video. If you don't have the robot, just ask in the description. If you need any help, then I'll make another video using different parts. Then we will be needing uh, lots of these. These are just basic rails, nothing special. These 90 degree turn rails, got them from another Lego model, those are kind of important. Then we will need this frame, it's, it should come with any Lego Technic model, and two of these. Now these and these, they are special, because if something is on these, it will spin freely, whereas if something like that is on those, it will block. Now these are just... Um, this in long and these are just the normal black ones but as special that like give more flexibility we will need four of these these are just um, square and then 90 degree turn two circles and gears like just try what fits with yours and a few uh, of these rods I guess you would say and yeah, that's it. Now there is another part that's these, but I will do that in the that I will show that afterwards. These also will take a few parts. Now this um, these take a lot of parts of the robot, so it is way easier if you already own the Lego robot. <laughs> Okay, so now it should look like a little man, and you will just put these straight and align them, and then just take just take these, and we will connect these like that.
Okay, okay guys, now comes one of the most important parts. We will need shrink tubing, some isolating tape, a lighter, um, some, like this Lego part, and this. And this is important because we will have to attach the servo to our robot arm to be able to control it using the Arduinos. Now, to do this, we will take this servo attachment and attach it to this, at first only using shrink tubing, just pushing that on, then cutting it there where they meet, and then we have to shrink it to a tight fit all around. Don't shrink too much, otherwise it will rip open and you have to redo it once more. There, that should do the job. Now we will just wrap around one more layer of this electrical tape, just for security. So that it won't reach open and we'll have to redo this whole step. What you also can do is just wrap around the back a, a thin strip. Just for that little bit of security it will need. Just connecting those two parts at the back. Now, once you've done this, you should be able to push on the servo and at the bottom, still having a possible way to attach a Lego thing. Now, that we have this, we can just stick it on there. Okay guys, now let's come to the adapter for our robot arm back here. Now, you will be wanting a few of these just stuck into each other like you see here. And now, this part will be spinning outwards like that. And now I have this one thing, and we'll just be clicking it onto here. So it gives a tight and snug fit. This is just some Lego piece. We can screw that on using the uh, screws that came with the Arduino mounts. And yeah, otherwise you just have to look for something that fits in your robot. It doesn't have to be anything special. And now, we just take our robot arm here. Have it here. Let's zoom in. Yeah, let's just quickly click this on. Just like spin it around how you would prefer and just clip this on. Now if your robot arm doesn't get any power, the servos will just be floppy and everything but otherwise it should work. And now you have it, a robot arm adaption. And like usually you would be paying about $25 for this and we just made it from some old Lego stuff we had lying around. Pretty cool. Now let's test it. Hey guys, here's a quick update and slash upgrade for your robotic arm that is really easy to do. We're using balloons to rubberize the surface for more grip and that's going to be pretty necessary. It's got, could, it should help help a lot when gripping small things that maybe don't fit perfectly onto the grippers. Now, just pull this over. We want to have it a flat surface. So, just try your best. And then the excess material. Now, of course, it's not allowed to get off. But that's really easy. Just pull it over. They're like 
a sock or something like that. See? And it's rubberized. Has way more grip now. And the same thing we'll do. It's very straightforward, very simple. Cut, rip, open up, stretch a bit. Oh, it rhymes. And then just pull it over. This may take a little jiggling, but once you've done it, it should work perfectly. Perfect. That way, really quick, it's really useful, doesn't even look too shabby. And now, I should be able to do things like this lighter without them coming out. I can, like, in fact, let's just test it. I'm gonna hook this up to my setup. And let's just quickly test it. Done. Did you notice how this wouldn't work? Now it works perfect. Set it up. I found it so cool. Like, look at this. It's like I've no slip at all. Okay. Okay, so I just quickly hooked this up, nothing special. It's just from my um, robot control using the potentiometers I used from the front, from the controlling the top of the robot. Just hooked it up to this servo, and now let's test it. You hooked it up. Works pretty smooth. I find this so cool. Let's try grouping something, for example, the latter. Ah, oh, it fell. Let me just stand this back up. Okay, great. And of course, you can just normally. Well, yeah, that's basically it. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching, guys. Now, this is a video. I hope you liked it. I hope you can build it with any questions, no matter what, about this project, about other projects, about what I should do in future. Just ask, and I'll do it. And, yeah, tell me if you want to rather see more projects using my little robot arm back here or different projects using Ardu Arduino's displays or Arduino's uh, uh, I, I thought of doing something with a touchpad but anything just write in the comments I'll try to do it 